Now, we repeated this study with police officers. Um, so the question here is, when police officers are on the lookout uh, for criminal activity, when they're thinking about violent crime, will this lead them to focus on black faces? Um, so this study is quite similar to the study I just showed you, but in this case, we primed half of the police officers with words associated with violent crime rather than images. So we exposed these officers to words like apprehend, arrest, capture, shoot. And you can see here that the pattern um, of results is, is identical to what we see with the students, okay? When the police officers are, um, are encouraged to think of arresting and shooting and capturing, they're drawn to the black face. This may look like a computer game, but it's not. It's actually a test that's designed to measure how people react to different scenarios. Okay. They had an opportunity to pr play the role of a police officer who had to make rapid decisions as to whether to fire at someone who was holding a gun uh, or not. In the virtual reality exercise, the pretend police officers encountered undercover police okay. officers, criminals and innocent bystanders. And what we were most interested in is what happened when they were confronted by a person, white or black, who was holding a harmless object. Anthony Greenwald and his colleagues reported in the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology that black people holding harmless objects were shot more often than whites. The difference was about 35 percent of blacks being uh, mistakenly shot compared to only 26 percent of whites. Greenwald blames that on something he suspects people may do without even realizing it, make automatic stereotypes. We think people have these automatic stereotypes, they can influence behavior when people have to act in a hurry and produce unfortunate, uh, tragic results. Greenwald thinks it's especially important for actual police officers to know that. I think they will just be aware of that possibility and behave perhaps more thoughtfully, more slowly. A little thought that may help avoid a tragedy.